hello guys there from new zealand so this is my uh, video first video after the lockdown so we have had uh, one month of lockdown because of covid 19 so now from the last week we have uh, come down from level four to level three on level four we supposed not to go out of our houses um, and stay in our bubble but now on level three we can at least you know do the essential repairs so um, I was supposed to do a iPhone XS Max which is dead and uh, to check what's wrong with it and to make a video but then came along uh, this Samsung phone I think this is Samsung J4 plus or J6 plus so same problem it's dead so I thought you know lots of uh, channels they are uh, making um, iPhone repair vid videos so I thought maybe I should do on the Samsung so it's dead we don't know if it's repairable or not repairable so let's see how it goes so guys what I have done I have uh, connected this to the external power supply and then uh, power it on as you can see it's drawing 0 0.026 amps which is showing little bit of short on the board but uh, that might be ignorable let's try turning it on now so there is no change in amps it's not drawing any amps so it's basically dead so first thing we have to do now is to find out if there is if we could find any way if there is any short on the board so let's turn this off so guys under the microscope i'm looking for um, any caps which i can test can you see here because this is not focused anyway um, oh yeah you can see so that's all good yep. okay and same we will do the other side So the other side maybe we have to remove we have to remove the shields <coughs> so I will get the gun I will set the temperature and I have to get this Okay, there you go. This is a bit strong, so I will put something here. don't want to push it too hard so okay maybe a little bit more heat okay. 
these samsung's metal shoes they are pretty strong and hard to melt okay there you go okay mate so the both of the shields are taken out so we will test this and now I, I will give it few minutes so that it cool down so guys what I will do I will put you here so that you can um, see what I'm doing under the microscope and here as well so now when I have already removed the shield so I have to just look look for any bad component which you can physically identify or just check the continuity to the ground any IC which looks like it's burnt or something so I mostly check the capacitors and this is the best way to find the shot if any cap is giving you beep on the both ends now that's okay then you have to check the line so I think you can see oh sorry I have to move here so can you see here okay so where am I here now yep okay so just start again so what we are doing we are trying to find a line which is which has got short to line and we have got beep okay can you see okay here here so this is here as you can see so it has got and if you look at the multimeter it has got very low resistance to ground it's dropping down to 0 0.6 so so that is a high short 0 0.6 as you can see in the multimeter I'll put it here and this line is short okay this one is okay so this one is okay and now these two capacitors we can clearly we know that has got very low resistance to ground so guys we have found um, a line which has got very low, low resistance to ground that means that line is shorted but now, now the problem here is uh, uh, let's see if we have got the symmetric diagrams uh, of this board then that can make our work a bit more easier let's find out okay guys let's see here if we can find out here in using G okay hurry up login okay so we are here now okay so let's find here if we can find yep it's here I'm not 100% sure if it's the same phone or not, but we will look at the layout of the board. If uh, they look the same, that uh, should be the same. Because this is the closest I can find. Anyway, so uh, what's the layout? So we have to find this here. So that's, that's the layout, charging port here. So here we will put it around this way and yep so as you can see guys here okay so this is the line we are talking about and these are two caps here see 
so this is connected to so this is uh, 5 volt boost line so this is 5 volt boost line so and this is connected to this IC I don't know even know what this IC is for but anyway now we know that these two capacitors are shorted these are connected here and these are grounded now we have got little bit of so guys from the board view we have got little bit of uh, this help we know these two capacitors are connected to the IC so now the problem here is uh, how to find out this is uh, now the problem it's very easy to find uh, you know which capacitor is shorter maybe there are 10 20 30 um, different um, caps on the line how to find out which one is faulty so we have got here three ways number one is very common one uh, you provide some amps to the line and you put some alcohol on it and see where the alcohol you know is uh, bubbling or burning second is freeze spray and number three is um, uh, the camera um, um, thermal camera yes so we will start from um, number one which is uh, put some alcohol around the area and then provide some amps and uh, let's see if we can find any burning point or short on it or not yeah so i put both of these um, a microscope and uh, here so that you can see uh, i don't suppose to move this move this little bit and maybe it'll make it a little bit bigger for you here okay Matt. so what i'm gonna do now is as you can see i don't know if you can see the uh, where it is man here is okay so what i have to do now is to put black on ground black probe on ground and the red to give little bit of power so let me check let me check here again which one is i'm just checking the layout of my board so the top one from here top one from here is down one is on the ground okay so let's do here as you can see here okay here is okay okay that's a good view now we know first of all these two caps are these two caps are shorted so now i will put little bit of alcohol here and then see what happens so this is to the ground and this is anything happened nothing happened Uh, as you can see it it's heating up from here see can you but it's almost yeah now you see it's evaporating it's so guys the problem with this um, alcohol finding out with the alcohol if the resistance and the short is not big it's um, on a small line it's a thin line that is not carrying more amperes then it's very hard to find out because the alcohol will start evaporating in a larger area and then you won't be able to find where exactly it is now try the second method which is um, freeze spray okay guys let's try freeze spray now so I will put heaps of freeze spray here let it dry and let's try see what's happening nothing is happening see it's going all around So I'm getting nothing. Let's try one more time because okay. So mm, 
nothing is happening here nothing is burning on ac no this is this is where i see a little bit of this this small so guys um, uh, from the crazy spray this is the one um, small capacitor which is on the line uh, which is a 5 volt boost line this two capacitors and this one and then they are connected here that i can see so this one is making me a little bit you know say that this this might be the one which is shortening and usually these are small capacitors so which are close to the um, ic so anyway what we will do we will just remove that uh, small capacitors and uh, see if the short is relieved or not and then we will see from here from there so what we will do we will put a little bit of flux as usual and we will just knock it off okay there you go we don't want you there why okay can you see there yes you can okay uh oh i don't want to pull the pads just in case if it's not faulty i have to put it back okay so now just get the multimeter again and check you can see the multimeter okay let's do it here okay okay so this cap was online so i will put it here and yep and see okay no short here so let's check the same these two this one see so guys no short so I was right. So see how a small 20 cent um, capacitor um, can make your whole phone go dead but we don't know even at this stage if it's working or not. So okay. Uh, so I will show you here we will now we will now try turning it on so i have already connected uh, the lcd screen here and now we will connect positive is this side here positive here and come on and negative come on oh yeah other way do it this way is it yep okay can you see here and do you see guys in the beginning we were having um, a reading here so that was actually showing the short so now um it's zero zero so there is no short so now the next thing I have to do is turn it on. Hopefully it should turn on because unless so see it's drawing very normal voltage and now if I turn it around we should have a display. Okay so actually this is Galaxy J4 Plus okay so that's all done i will turn it off now from here so um we find out the, uh, first of all it was there it was showing in we call it input shot as soon as we connect there was a reading on the dc multimeter so that means there is an input shot so we checked and then we find out where the short is and um, then we find out what component is shorted we removed it and it's all working fine now so um, guys if you have got any question and if you would like to take any courses micro soldering and you know these sort of electronic repair courses uh, there are information available on our website and um, thanks for watching bye